In the age-old debate of form versus function, two titans clash. Form, the captivating allure of aesthetic beauty, dances seductively with the eye, tempting all who gaze upon it. While function, the unsung hero of practicality, stands steadfast, quietly ensuring efficiency and purpose. Wait, wait, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's just some dribble that I got off of ChatGPT. And why do I have so many of these travel guitars? Well, it might be time to unload one and send one of these out to one lucky viewer. Hey there, I'm Dan, the self-proclaimed Lonely Rocker. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today we're taking a look at the Donner Hush X. This is a new addition to their travel guitar lineup. I actually featured the original version, took it on the road last summer with my wife, wrote a song on the road, brought it back, and I talked about my thoughts on the original. I had three very specific thoughts about that guitar. Why don't we harken back, shall we? One problem that I did have with this is how it fastens to the guitar. I really wish there was some kind of fastener built into the body. Maybe that's something they can think about in a future version of this guitar. Well, I do like this uh, built-in amplifier, I really wish there was some kind of reverb, the cheapest reverb on the planet, I don't care. I found myself struggling a little bit, especially up and around the 12th fret here. The action got a little bit high. I really had to fight it sometimes to get it to, uh, to do what I wanted on here. Well, two out of three ain't bad. I'll dive into the details in a second. So like I said in the opening, I do have a glut of these travel guitars, courtesy of Donner, so I wanna send one of these out to one lucky viewer. So stick around a little later in the video, I'm gonna let you know how you can grab one of these for free. Well, it's a contest, right? There should be no charge for that. That's what a contest is all about. So stick around for more information on how you can win a travel guitar. I haven't decided which of these four I'll send out, but uh, we'll find out soon enough. Anyways, gonna pull off this tag and let's jump into the details. The Hush X is a highly portable travel guitar that builds on the original design and delivers some more premium features. Travel guitars are generally considered acoustic guitars and the Hush X can certainly fill that role. Here's what it sounds like with the camera microphone about two feet away. However, the Hush X is marketed as an electric guitar. The onboard amplifier lets you monitor the guitar through headphones or you can use the quarter inch output jack and plug it into an amp, modeler or computer through an audio interface. There is also an auxiliary input for your phone or music player. While the previous Hush guitar had a hidden pickup, the Hush X has a full humbucker in the bridge and a single coil pickup in the neck. There is a three position toggle switch and a stacked volume and tone knob. The pickups also have switchable active and passive modes. Here's how it sounds plugged directly into my computer. While the built-in amplifier doesn't have any effects, you can use it just like any guitar and run it through your current system. Here are some clean tones through my Helix with some reverb and delay. And here are some distorted tones also through my Helix. The new bridge system is one of the highlights of this guitar. It is extremely sturdy and offers a lot of adjustments. 
Each saddle can be individually raised or lowered and intonated, and you can tune easily by hand where the original hush guitar required an Allen key. And the biggest improvement on the Hush X over the original Hush guitar is the new frame system. Overall, it's much sturdier, and it can be connected and removed from the body with the Quick Connect system. You don't need any tools to put them on or take them off, and there are no screws to lose. The Hush X has a full-size neck with 22 nicely finished and polished frets. It has a progressive, asymmetric design that gets wider as you move up the neck. The headless design and removable frames keep it very small, and it all packs into a small carrying case that makes it easy to travel with. So, you want to win a travel guitar, do you? Well, all you need to do is navigate into the description of this video. There's going to be a link there to the Hush Guitar Giveaway. That's going to take you to LonelyRocker.com. That's my personal website. And there's a simple form to fill out. All you do is fill out the form, send it in, and then all you have to do is wait. The winner is going to be notified personally by me by email. No message in the comments, nowhere on social media. Please do not fall for that. Winner will be notified personally by me. Everyone else will be notified by an emailer letting you know who the contest winner was. So click on the link, fill out that form, and I wish you the best of luck. All right, so I wanna share my thoughts about the Hush X. First, a couple of the details that I had some challenges with with the previous model. The big upgrade on this one is definitely the frame system. One of the complaints I had about the previous version is that you needed an Allen key to take out the screws to install or Put on the frames and when you're traveling and as i was in some remote areas it was a bit of a hassle to do that so i ended up just leaving them in the case but these just pop on pull off really easy and they're much more heavy duty too it adds a bit of weight uh, to the guitar so maybe it's a little bit more balanced the fact that you can get them on and off so much easier is a big big plus over the previous model when reviewing a travel guitar or you know if you're evaluating a travel guitar there are compromises to be made here i mean i brought you know the other one which i have it right here this is the one i traveled with last year i took the same trip the previous year and i didn't bring any guitar with me so that the, the added bonus of having a guitar was certainly great because i missed playing guitar so but there are some compromises i mean you're taking everything and you're compacting it into a smaller frame uh, that's not a complaint but i i can't really judge this compared to my best electric guitar i don't think that's a fair comparison so everything i'm saying here really is just an observation but you know, it's kind of an acoustic guitar, even though they're calling this one an electric guitar, mainly because of the pickup system, which I'll get to in a second. But the playability on this one was uh, a lot better than the previous one. Um, not perfect. It was. I still found I had to fight it a little bit. I don't know if that was evident in some of the clips that I showed you, um, but definitely improved. And I found that I could play it a lot better and I uh, was really happy about that improvement as well. Now, these are adjustable and uh, there's a truss rod adjustment here. So if, you, if the action's too high, there are adjustments that you can make to this to get it closer to what works best for you. But just out of the box, I felt the playability was much better on this particular one. The one thing that I think was still overlooked and something that I did suggest was, well, this built-in amplifier is great. You just wanna plug in the headphones that are provided. Um, you can listen to yourself silently. There's no reverb or any kind of ambient effects or anything built in. So what you're hearing is the dry guitar. Now in this day and age, there's all sorts of mini uh, interfaces and things and you can connect it to your phone. So for something that would actually fit in the case, uh, but you'd have to bring another accessory. It'd be nice if whatever is on board here just had a little bit of reverb. I mean, that's all I'd really need. Have my headphones and I could practice for hours. I'd be happy. So they didn't add it this time. Perhaps it's something they'll think about, but it does sound really good. And it really is sort of a dual system here because it's a mini amplifier. Like I said, if you want to plug headphones into it, but because of the pickup system, they've actually given you the option now to switch between passive and active mode for the pickups, which just gives you a wider range of tones, it's something I'll let you discover on your own. But with the new pickup system here, you've got a humbucker here in the bridge and you've got the neck position and the pickups are pretty good. I think they sounded really great for most of the clean tones. For some of the heavier stuff, it was getting a little bit of muddy uh, in the bottom end. But again, remember I talked about those compromises. I mean, imagine going on the road with this, uh, if you have a little pocket amplifier or something you can run into your phone and just have access to all those tones while you're traveling. If you're like me and you miss guitar, it's a real bonus to have that. So really a hybrid system here where you can play this thing acoustically, but plug it in and then have a whole range of tones here. And I've got the toggle switch so you can switch between the two pickups and actually there's a middle position as well. And then you've got a standard volume with a tone knob uh, sort of built into one here. So sort of traditional, more, more traditional electric guitar settings here. So I, I'd really like the pickups. Really, really, really sounded great clean. I got 
gotta say, really like some of those clean tones and, and uh, distorted tones weren't bad, weren't bad. Like I said, a little muddy for some of the heavier tones. Uh, bluesier stuff was actually pretty good, but again, a major upgrade over the previous one if you want this added feature. Now, things that uh, I do wanna mention, this bridge system is kick-ass. It's a heavy-duty bridge system, really, really solid piece of equipment here. It's kind of got a very hip shot style, sort of individual saddles, which you can raise and adjust full intonation. And you don't need an Allen key to tune your guitar anymore. You did need the Allen key on the previous one, but these turn nice and smooth and a really, really nice bridge system. In fact, I'd like to see this on an electric guitar, like a full-blown electric guitar. Uh, that might be something uh, we'll see in the future. Really cool. Uh, anyways, that's great. Uh, speaking of Allen key, in the back here, we do have a little trap door for the battery, and Donner always thinks of everything. You got your little Allen keys here if you need to do the finer adjustments, hiding behind the little trap door here. Uh, nice and handy if you always remember to put them back. And uh, there was a battery actually included as well. Donner, you are thinking of everything. Thank you for that. Uh, and overall, the fit and finish, I mean, nicely finished. Frets are nice. Uh, you got a nice little hanger on the top here. Uh, on the new one, it's more of a square. It was sort of angled on the previous model. So overall, I think this is a great improvement over the previous one, uh, but it's a budgetary thing. I think it's great that Donner's offering uh, two different travel guitars in their lineup now at different price points. So if some of these added features are worth a few extra bucks to you, you have that option. Uh, it takes nothing away from the previous one because it's a real budget-friendly travel guitar with a lot of great features as well, and they're both available in Donner's lineup. But if you are interested in purchasing one of these guitars and you do buy direct from Donner, I've put a link in the description. I've actually got a discount code for you, L Rocker, that'll give you a discount on a purchase of, I think pretty much anything in the Donner store. I actually don't get a kickback from that. I'm just offering that to you as a service to you. If you are interested, you'll get a little bit of a discount and uh, you can get more information on the Donner Hush X and the original Hush guitar. Well, there you have the Hush X from Donner. I have to say, I really Appreciate the enhancements to this. What is a more premium travel guitar compared to the original? I think it's a conversation starter for one. It's great to noodle with it on the couch and having a guitar like this on the road, it's just really handy and convenient. Better than taking a full guitar if you just aren't able to do that. Anyways, if you wanna check out either model, I will put a link in the description. And while you're down there, don't forget, we've got the contest. Uh, there's a link to my website where you can sign up to enter to win one of these guitars. And keep in mind, this is YouTube. So this is gonna expire eventually. So as long as the link is still there, the contest is still live. When the contest ends, I'll probably leave a link to my website anyways. You're still welcome to join my email list over there because anyone on my list gets notified of any contests or things happening around Lonely Rocker before anyone else. So if that's worth it to you, uh, make sure to subscribe at my website. Anyways, if you have any questions or thoughts, just leave them in the comment section. That's what it's there for. And if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And while you're down there, I've got a video right here. It's the original Hush guitar on my little travels last summer. If you missed it, make sure to check it out. And remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. I'll catch you in the next one.